Hello, I'm Brent Popolizio, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. There's been a great deal of talk about the upcoming TV upfront and how this may be the year in which it and its high pricing practices may dramatically change forever. But in a discussion at Cable Television Advertising Bureau headquarters yesterday, David Levy, president of Turner Broadcasting Sales, had a somewhat different vision. As far as supply and demand, as Joey's talking about, you know, the, the, the scatter pricing right now is anywhere from 20 to 40 percent above upfront pricing. You know, uh, that's going to tell a lot of advertisers to say to themselves, do I want to pay that kind of scatter pricing again? So I don't believe they will, and I think a lot of the money will move in the upfront. So you're going to have a higher demand of dollars in the upfront. Well, supply right now, the, the networks are down, I think, 17 percent year over year right now. Um, so with a uh, less supply and stronger demand, it, that would tend to lead towards a stronger upfront. Elsewhere, this week saw the publication of Advertising Age's first ever annual digital issue. In a front page story, editor-at-large Matthew Creamer asks if we're not all missing the biggest change being wrought by the web for traditional publishers. The thesis of my piece is that if you look at the internet as an ad medium, you're looking at it the wrong way. A lot of the discussion about the internet is framed as how quickly will the market for online advertising grow. I think that's the old way of looking at the internet. We should be looking at the internet not as a place where brands could be adjacent to content, but as a place where brands can actually own their own content. Obviously the threat to, to publishers is huge. They're already seeing media fragments, so this is nothing new in a way. It just means that there'll be a higher level of fragmentation as more and more advertisers and agencies try to jump into this space and create their own content. One of those traditional media executives grappling with the question of how to integrate consumer content into his publication is USA Today executive editor Kinsey Wilson. It's something we're experimenting with. Uh, we felt that we couldn't afford to wait and sort of see how it matures, uh, that we needed to experiment with it and learn how the audience interacted. I guess to generalize, we see really valuable contributions from readers in areas uh, that tend to be narrow and niche, where they have particular expertise, where they have knowledge that often goes beyond that which we possess as reporters. The broader, the higher level you get, you get into the realm of politics and sort of uh, general news and the commentary tends to deteriorate. Um, so we're sort of grappling with how to deal with that. And that's it for this three minute ad age. Thanks for being with us. I'm Brent Popolizio at Advertising Age in New York. <laughs>